Well, good evening, everybody. So if you're like me, you like to see what your solar system is doing at various points throughout the day. Victron does a great job in allowing you to integrate and monitor your system. They've even made the software that runs the Serbo available for anyone to load it on a Raspberry Pi, and you can integrate your different devices into that Raspberry Pi and have your own mini servo, which can take all of your data and send it up to the VRM. Now, with the servo, you can easily buy their five or seven inch display, but what happens if you have more than one place that you would really like to be able to quickly glance at that information? Or the place that you want to use that display is just too far away from wherever your servo is running. Now, you can take your phone and you can load up the Victron Connect app and be able to see your local devices over a Bluetooth connection. You can even load up their VRM app on your phone, tablet, whatever, and be able to see that information at a glance and they even have it to where you can load the remote console in the browser. And they've got a VRM widget which can show up on your smartwatches, giving you the ability to look at your different installations and basic information about your system directly from your smartwatch. And they've also gone through and added the ability to have a widget on your phone which can show you information about your charge rates, discharge rates, AC power, DC power, you know, what your tank and temperature sensors are set at. They really do give you a lot of different options to be able to see your information. But what if you wanted to set up a permanent display someplace else or set up another display without having to run wires? but still be able to see all that information from your Victron system. Well, if you're like me, you probably have a stash of these laying around the house. a Bunch of old Android tablets. Well, Victron's done it again, and they actually are beta testing an app which you can load onto an old Android tablet and have your remote console launch in a full screen mode so that you can have a wireless display for your system. So we're going to take a look at how we can set up that remote display using an old Android tablet. So let's get started. So before this option came out, I wanted to have a remote console upstairs in my dining room so that I could at a glance see what my system was doing. But the only way that I could do that, on, especially on some of these older tablets, because the older tablets just don't seem to be snappy or fast enough, or they have so much bloat on them that the up-to-date Android apps just don't want to run on them. And so I would try and load up the remote console just so that I could see what's going on in the browser. But even when we look at this on my phone right now, I couldn't get it to go full screen. Now that the remote console is updated since version 3.50, it's actually responsive to where it utilizes more space so you can see it a little bit better. But the old remote console just stayed this fixed size, which was super hard to be able to see the information easily, especially if you had a smaller tablet. And so you really want that extra real estate, like this display, to take everything and make it as big as possible. So if we jump on over to the Victron community forum, you can see they've got this 
new beta listing for using an Android tablet as a dedicated Wi-Fi display. So this has been out since the end of October, but it's pretty basic of a setup. So we can see here, this procedure and software will turn an Android tablet or a phone into a dedicated display for GX products. The app, once installed, takes over the device, running it in kiosk mode, ensuring it functions as a dedicated display for the GX device. So once you set this up, you're not gonna be able to use this for other things. It's going to be a dedicated display. But you can see their disclaimer right here. This software is currently in beta, so just keep that in mind. So you have to reset your Android device. It has to be, they recommend a minimum of an Android 6. I think the tablet that I've tested it on is some like kids locked down Android 9 tablet that I picked up off of eBay. And then your Serbo or your GX device, whether that's the Serbo or the Raspberry Pi needs to be running at least version 3.5. What you're gonna do is you're gonna end up factory resetting your device. So we're gonna open up the QR code scanner, scan the QR code, follow the instructions, configure it, and that's it. So let's see if we can set up one of these tablets as a remote display for my Victron system. All right, so remember I said I was using a cheap kid's tablet. But what I would do is I would have it upstairs and I'd have a bookmark right here that I'd tap on and it would launch the remote console. But as you can see right now, it's got this space up top so you're not gonna get full screen. And even as I'm talking, it's taking a while to load and then it would go to sleep because I'd turn the display off. And then when I'd come back, the remote console would have crashed, so I'd have to go back to the home screen and relaunch it. So viewing it from the browser is okay, but you can see now it still hasn't even finished loading. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and run this update and see how it works. So we're gonna go back, and I know that it said that we need to factory reset this tablet. So everything you have on it is gonna get wiped. So we're going to go into settings. System. Advanced. Reset. And erase all factory reset. Reset tablet, erase everything. And then you just wait for it to do its thing. So once your tablet is done resetting, it's gonna to come to this kind of a landing page where it asks you to select your language and click start. So we're gonna look for this label that says hi there and we need to tap it very quickly six times. So let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So you can see here, we've got the camera now activated. And so I'm just going to take my camera and point it at the QR code from that page. Then I'll make sure that this page is down in the description below so that you guys can get to it easily. So it scanned that QR code and now we need to find and set up the Wi-Fi. So we'll turn on our Wi-Fi, let it find our networks, select our network, and you need to make sure that you select the network that can access your Serbo or your Raspberry Pi. Once you're connected, you can hit next, accept and continue, and it's going to set up and configure that kiosk mode app that it's accessing through the QR code. And if your display does go to sleep, you can just wake it up, select the home app, GX display, I believe is the one that we want. And then always, so it's gonna be like, what app auto loads when the tablet is restarted. We need to select the device that we want to connect to. And actually, I think that this one found my Raspberry Pi. So let's just connect to that. Do we want to set a pin? That's up to you. And we will accept.
You may get the error loading message. You may get the bad certificate message. Just give it a second. Now we're loading. It might take like a minute, minute and a half, of just loading. And so now we can see it landed me on my notification page. This is my overview and brief. Again, this is for my Raspberry Pi, my test wall. So there's not a whole lot of information on here, but it gives me full access to everything, just like having a touch display wired directly into the Raspberry Pi. I have my switches. The little slide out, but you know, I'm not seeing a whole lot of information here because this is my test wall. So let's switch over to my other device for my main system. So in order to access the limited settings for this, you're gonna actually just touch the bottom left corner for about five seconds. And it'll slide out a little access menu. There we go. So you can access your display settings for your device. Brightness, adaptive brightness, blah, blah, blah. You can tick keep your screen on. You can tick show the battery status of the tablet up in the top right hand corner. Adjust your Wi-Fi. You can force reload this. Factory reset your tablet back to normal or search for devices. So for whatever reason, it doesn't see my other device. So I'm gonna add it by an IP. And I know that the IP is 10.0. Dot ten dot two four three. Add a GX device, and it's going to do its little screens again. Error. The certificate issue that we saw a minute ago might only be for the Raspberry Pi and not for the actual Serbo, because we didn't actually see that pop up here. So now we sit and wait. Again, this might be the initial load. Maybe a minute. Two minutes, it's got to establish that initial connection to the device. And actually, come to think of it, I did have to reboot this yesterday. So I think when you do that initial reboot or the initial connection, it might take, you know, two to three minutes for that initial load and connecting. There we go. Now it's Finally loading up the actual data, and we can see right now we are at 69% on my battery. Switch over to the overview page. We can see I'm pulling 680-ish watts. I wonder, what's my, okay, so my boiler is at 167 degrees. Not too bad, especially after Ian just getting out of the shower. No notifications. And there we go. We have a fully wireless tablet that's full screen. So now I can take this tablet, put it wherever I want throughout the house and have a much more responsive wireless remote console. And it's about the same size too, but it's a whole lot cheaper buying one of these than one of those. So yeah, now I just need to get a 3D printer for this thing and then mount it upstairs someplace to where I can easily take a look at what this is doing without having to pull out my phone, without having to look at my watch, without having to come downstairs and look and see what it's doing. I can have it all accessible right here. So a nice, sweet new addition by Victron. They're constantly listening to what folks are looking for. Again, it is currently beta, but I've been running this on this tablet upstairs for maybe month, month and a half, ever since I saw somebody comment about it on the forum. I mean, really, it takes maybe 15 minutes to factory reset your tablet, load the new software, and make that connection. So, Take a look at it if you've been looking for a way to add another display someplace else or even 
get your own first display because I know a lot of folks tend to either buy the Serbo by itself or just get a Raspberry Pi and load the Venus OS on that and not get a display because they can always just look at the information on their phones. Well now, you can use all those old Android tablets or the old Android phones that you got lying around. So hopefully that's been helpful. If you've got questions that I can answer, let me know down in the comments. With that, I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, and we'll catch up with you later.